the tour is 40 years old. People were astounded 40 years ago when they came <laughs> through these houses. Today, they're equally as astounded as they were 40 years ago. It's just remarkable. When the house tour first started, the houses were, even the houses on the tour, by and large, some of them not even finished. People were doing renovation and they would open the house. So you'd go through the house and you'd see, you know, maybe a room or two done or maybe even a floor done, but um, you would still see the renovation in progress. So what you see now after, usually it's been a number of, of what we call generations of people living, going through the house. So the first, first generation of people who renovated, a lot of them have moved on, and so you have people who've, who've continued to do renovations. So you, you see very, very sophisticated houses now. I think you see houses that are, have been renovated um, to sort of the nth degree. When Judith and I moved here uh, in 1978, and we began to fix up our house, and the other people around us began to fix up our houses, the general population in and around this area really didn't know the grandness of the houses, the construction, how beautiful they were. Uh, by and large, most of the people had lived in, uh, that lived in the city had moved out and had moved to suburbia. And all of a sudden, there were a bunch of people fixing up these grand houses. And now, 40 years later, we're still having people come down and they're just... They're so, still amazed. And, and it, it's so surprising. And what we've added after all of this time is the gardens. And many of them are surprising to the people who come through because so many of our gardens are hidden from the main view. You usually can't see them from the streets, so you have to go through the house to see them. And most of them are kind of delightful little treasures.